In the summer of 2012, Able UK successfully deployed a new pull-down technique to demolish six cooling towers. The former Thorpe Marsh power station site, just north of Doncaster, is a classic case of transforming the old into the new. The original power station may have shut down in 1995, but the site now has full planning permissions in place for a state-of-the-art new 1500 megawatt gas fueled power station. Of course, most demolition sites have their challenges. Thorpe Marsh is adjacent to a busy rail line, a major national grid substation, and has a number of private houses within the immediate vicinity. So careful planning is a prerequisite. Able UK had completed much of the site demolition prior to 2012, but the six cooling towers remained, and in their characteristic and pioneering spirit, Abel looked towards a new and improved method of dispatch. Underpinned by detailed research and a raft of engineering calculations, the pull-down method was selected. Once the superfluous material, hazardous or otherwise, has been removed from each tower, there is a two-day preparation period after which the team assesses the appropriate time slot, usually an early summer Sunday morning for the actual demolition. Crucially, this takes into account a wide range of meteorological, environmental and health and safety issues, as well as full and open liaison with both neighbours and the relevant authorities. The results, as you will see, have been spectacular. Not only with reduced costs, but also less vibration, dust and noise. A satisfied client and, above all, a local community that was able to sleep peacefully through it all.